Hey guys, I'm Nala Gonzalez and welcome back to my channel where I share my own writing journey as well as tips and advice on writing and my occasional opinion on stuff going on in the writing world with everyone practicing social distancing I'm sure you've got more time to read books which is why today's topic is on reading as a writer something you can still do even after we're allowed to interact with the outside world again you know, if you want to Reading as a writer usually gets misunderstood Too often it's assumed to mean reading another person's work with an overly critical eye As writers, this is something we all do It's usually self-doubt making you second-guess yourself by comparing your writing to someone else's. I personally avoid critique groups for this reason only because the ones that I've been part of usually has that one writer who has something to say about everyone's work but will fight tooth and nail to justify what's not working in theirs. Usually they say it's supposed to be that way or it'll make sense later. I've run into two of those kinds of writers and I don't want to run into more but reading as a writer doesn't have to be so critical. You don't have to break down every sentence or decipher every theme. To read as a writer all you have to to do is read like a lot make time for it the same way you make time to write read to enjoy the book and take in the author's style instead of reading to see what the author could have done better read to learn what they did well on top of that breaking down and analyzing every book you pick up is a fucking chore no book will be fun to read and it'll affect your writing in a negative way the bad habit of over analyzing will bleed into every storytelling you come across whether it's music movies or TV shows you'll find yourself breaking the writing down and looking for all the ways they wrote the story rather than just taking in the good it offers. Don't get me wrong, there's some bad writing out there, but if you take a step back and enjoy the book or show from a more casual standpoint, then you can honestly side-eye it and say, damn, this really is bad. Just remember, you're not taking in the story to analyze it to its core. As writers, it's second nature to break down another's work. We want to see and know how it ticks, but we have to work on learning through osmosis. Before you were a writer, you were just a reader. You didn't fall in love with books because of how many M dashes an author used or the way they wrote a character's accent. It was a natural flow of their story and voice. All that technical stuff comes later. It may sound stressful to read more, especially when you're already doing so much, but consider other manageable methods, like reading a chapter a day or audiobooks. Give books outside your genre a try. They may not be for you, but you may discover elements you'll want to include in your writing, whether it be style or story. Hell, you might even be surprised and find a whole new favorite genre. That happened to me with sci-fi fantasy. I assumed sci-fi fantasy was too complex for me to understand, but here we are. Let me know if there was a genre you surprised like. I mean, like, you were surprised you liked it. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope you found my borderline rambling useful. Remember, reading as a writer isn't about comparing your work. Though self-doubt makes that so tempting, it's really about discovering the elements that you enjoy and incorporating them into your work in your own unique way. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on writing tips and advice. Turn on your notifications so you know the moment I upload a new video. And follow me on social media. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.